Hello, hello everybody. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we hear you now. Yeah. All right, good. Um, <clears throat> so today we're going to cover our last topic for the semester. We're going to do some more algorithmic, uh, uh, massive algorithmic expression and some property. So uh, first, let's define what a logarithm is. And then we'll see how to use its properties to simplify some uh, logarithmic expressions. Um, so to understand logarithms, uh, we just need to start with uh, an exponential expression because they're basically inverse uh, or opposite to each other. So let's say when you have um, <coughs> And you say five to the second is 25. Okay, so this is a an exponential exponential expression. And we can also turn this into another form of log. So we can go back from here. So five to the second power is 25. We can also go backwards just like we did with the uh, with the radicals. We for example, here we do the radical of 25 is 5. For the logs, it's quite similar. So what we do is to go back to this, uh, to the 5, we need to apply what we call the log function, the logarithmic function. This is the uh, log short for a logarithm. Then you say log of 25 <coughs> or log of 25 is five. Okay, so you say five to the second, that's 25. Just like with the radicals again, we say the root of the radical of 25 is five. With the log function, we say the log of 25 is five. And the power here too becomes um, the power of uh, the radical, actually not five but 25, but uh, two here. So you say log, So log of 25 base five is two. So these two are basically equivalent. These are the same thing, you just written into different forms. So five to the second is 25. You can say log of 25 base five is two. Log of 25 base five is two. So remember the base here in, the, in this exponential expression is also the base of this log because each uh, log has a base, small number we write here, has a value that you plug into it, and has uh, an answer or uh, and a value of uh, the log of this number. Okay, so that's what the log is, ba uh, is made of. So log base, we have some number here, or expression that gives you some value. So that's pretty much just the, the shortest introduction to logs. They're just opposites of exponents. So we go back uh, to uh, the original number. Uh, it works with any power. Let's say you have um, <coughs> two to the third, which is eight. Again, we can write this in log form. In log form, again, the first thing you do is the word, uh, the short, uh, abbreviation of a short form of the logarithm, which is log. So log of something is something. Log of some base of something is something. So let's change this into log form. So first, maybe you want to start uh, start with the base first. So what is the base of this log? Or the small two? number? The, that's right, two. So the base of this exponential, uh, exponential expression is also the base of this log. So the base of what is what? Remember, we're trying to go back. So the log of what, what number goes here? The log of what? So just like here. A. Right, so log of A equals the number that's left is? Three. Three, that's right, so log of 
plug base, this base here, of this number is the tau. So we can switch back and forth between any log uh, expression. In other words, two to the third is eight, okay? You can say this base to the power is eight. Two to the third is eight. Same thing here, five to the second is 25. Um, <clears throat> can also find the values of a log if I said log of, let's say, if you follow this method here, so again, two to the third is eight, or log base two of eight is three, you can also say two to the third is eight, two to the third power is eight. Using the same way, what is log base three of nine? In other words, three to a power is nine. What is that power? Three. Three to a power is nine. What is that power? What the number that's missing, if you look over here, it would be two. Okay, so again, the base here to this power is this number. So when you don't know the value of a log, what is log base three of nine? A lot of logs can be solved without a calculator. So again, you just think of it this way. You say three to a power is nine. What is that power? In other words, you can call this number x and you change it to exponential form. So again, exponential form means two to the third is eight. Two to the third is eight. So here you can say three to the power x Three to the power x is nine. And then you solve this, uh, you can think of this as some exponential equation. Three to a power is nine. That means that number x is two. So that's the number that was missing here. Okay, so there's the whole idea of lots, nothing too complex about them. Uh, uh, just another way for writing exponential expressions. Um, and there's a few rules we're gonna see in a, in a moment about these logs, but let's do, let's do some more examples here. Um, <clears throat> let's say log of what's log base three of 27? You try to think of it this way. Log base three of twenty-seven. So it's going to be three. It's going to be three. That's right. Or you yeah, can... three, three, nine, and then nine, three is twenty-seven. That's right. You can say three to a power is twenty-seven. Three to some power. So this is x. We don't know it. So to change the log into exponential expression take the base, raise it to this power, the number that's by itself on the other side, x, and that would be equal to the number that's inside the log. Of course, you know that three to uh, a number is 27, that number must be three. Okay, so the number here is three. Okay, so um, depending on the situation, sometimes you need the, Exponents sometimes you need logged, so that's why we need to switch back and forth. So if you have any, if you have this, you can go to this, or you can go backwards. So let's uh, make up a random example here. Let's say we have some base, that's a number x, and we have y. So log base b of x is y. This is uh, again log form. Let's turn this into exponential form. What is the exponential form of this of this log? You think? of it this way. So we're basically just going back uh, from here to this. So what to what power is what to change this log expression into uh, exponential form? So we need the base to a power equals something. What is the base here? Everybody, can you guys hear me? Guys, are you there? Uh, I want to hear from all of you. So please, please feel free to engage and ask questions. We want to turn this log form 
into some exponential form, something like this. So we we're taking this to this. So basically you say two to the third, to the third equals eight. Do the same thing here and give me the exponential form of this. So is this six y? Uh, this is b, okay, b, uh, b oh, and- Oh, that's b, yeah. b and? b and y? What do you mean by b and y? The log x is b equal y, no? Uh, log of x base b is y, that's right. So let's turn this into some exponents. So what's the base, what's the power, and what's the value? Mm. So we have b, the base, and what do we do with the other numbers? Exponent one. <clears throat> so again, two to the third is eight. That's an exponential expression. We turn it into a log. So a log, the base here, is also the base here. Oh, the log of this number, eight, is three. Of eight is three. So that's log. It's very simple to turn it into exponent, to go back. Just take the base, to this power and equals this. Do the same thing here and give me the, the whole ex, uh, equation. Nobody can see it? X equal three? No, we're not looking for X. I just wanna turn this expression into exponent. When I turn this into this, we have all that we need. We just need to do one little trick and we would have our exponential uh, expression using oh. x, b, and y. So what to what is what? This is not a difficult question. It's very simple. I don't know why you guys are, are not uh, seeing it. Now let's take another example here. So let's say, so we have, let's say this log, maybe the base is seven and we have two. So log base seven of 49 is two. That's a logarithmic expression. Let's write this as an exponential expression. So what, what's the base, what's the power, what's the number here? If you want to turn this into exponential expression. Very similar to this one here and this one also. So change this or write this in uh, exp exponential form. It's gonna be seven. Mm -hmm. To the power two. Seven to the power two, okay. It's gonna be 49, yeah. Here's 49, that's it. This is the exponential. Oh, that's it? Yep, now do the same thing here. So turn this into an exponential form, just like here. So how do you do that? So six to the power y? This is this is b, okay, b Oh, to this is b, <laughs> the power. I need to, uh, b to the power y okay so b to the power y equals x x that's all mm -hmm. so, so we're changing this into exponential form or you can go back also if you need to you can say log base b of x as well so that's uh basically how you switch back and forth between uh, between log and exponential uh, forms <coughs> Right, let's now take a look at some uh, properties of logs. We have a few of them. So uh, again, a lot, uh, many logs can be done, can be simplified without a uh, calculator. Um, 
basically all these that we did here are convenient and we can find them without a calculator. Here's another one here. Uh, let's say you have K3. Okay, so log base 2 of 16. What is that equal to? Again, think of it as an exponent. Think about some x here. So 2 to the power x is 16. What is x? What is x in this example? I'm going to find this number x. So to solve this problem, we turn it into exponential form like this. So it's always the base to this number equals this number. So 2 to a power x is 16. What is x? What power do you put here over 2 in order to get 16? Can you guys hear me? Uh, is it eight? No. Four to the power two. No. Nope. Uh, what do you mean no? It's like to get 16, right? Yeah, two to what power? To, to the power three, not four. To the power four. Two to the power four, not four to the power two. two, two four, power. four, four. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry, I was wrong. Okay. So again, this is how you solve the log. Sometimes the logs cannot be uh, convenient. For example, you may have I don't know some base here, some number five here. So th three to a power is five. That number it's not easy to to do manually or without a calculator. So in that case, that's when we uh, get a calculator to do this. Okay, so this can be simplified using a calculator. Um, uh, the, by default, the, the base in the calculator is 10. Every calculator has a log button, but it doesn't show the, I don't think it shows the base. It would just say log. And by default, uh, if you say, for example, log, you type log and you say whatever 10 25 or something by default the 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 log of the calculator it would be 10 for example if you just press the log uh, press I think you sometimes you type 10 first and you press log or the other way so for example this one you'll say you want to find the log of 10 again by default the base in the calculator is 10 so all you have to do is write log and 10 what do you think this is equal to? We can do this with a calculator without the calculator actually. What number goes here? That x. If you think about it this way again, uh, like we did earlier. So 10 to a power is 10. What's that power? Power must be. Ten raised to a power x is 10. What, what, what's that power? One. Right, would be just one. 10 to the power of x is one. Uh, so again, a lot of these can be done without, without a calculator, but sometimes, uh, for example, here, so that, that's not something that we can do without a calculator. Without a calculator, for example, if you say three to a power is five, so that power it does exist, but it's a decimal. So in this case, we use a calculator for this. So to solve this, basically what we do is turn this into two logs: log five and log three. Okay, so we split this into two logs. Notice that the base here is three. But after we split this into two logs, basically they turn into two logs with uh, both base 10. Base 10. <clears throat> okay, so again, 
you have log some base some number if you can't think of it it's not as convenient as these we split this into two logs log five and log uh log five and log three actually log five and log three log ten and again both these logs have the base 10. why do we do that because the calculator by default has log base 10. Then when you use the calculator, you can find this value. Again, you press log, five will give you some decimal. And then you, you find the log of this in the calculator, give you a number, and then you'll get some result. Okay, so uh, again, you say three to a power of X is five. Might be not as easy as this one, for example, two to the power of four is 16. So that's when you split it into two, two logs. Uh, both logs of base 10 and 10. That's what you find in the calculator, and you divide them. You can easily do this in your calculator. Every uh, scientific calculator has uh, a log button. Um, okay, so keep that in mind. You can simplify the radical, uh, the logs sometimes easily. 7 to the second is 49. Other times like this might not be as convenient, so that's when we need a calculator. And again, the calculator only shows you base 10 only has show uh, has base 10 but this one is base 3 so that's why we split this we turn this into two logs log 5 log 3 both of these with a new base which is 10 and we can simplify each one and find this value in the calculator find the other one and divide it maybe later we if we have time we can get back to this and uh, do them with the calculator so this is all you have to uh remember for now very simple, uh, for any power, any base to a power x, we can turn that into a new form called the log form, log base b of x is y. That's all, that's all that what this says. And now let's look at some uh, log rules. First one is, Log properties. Um, we have, let's say, when you have a log of A times B. And by the way, by default, if you don't see a base in a log, it's by default 10. Every log has a base. It's not written, for example, log of 5. This means the log, the invisible base here is 10. Okay, so remember that it's not 1, it's 10 by default. Other than that, if it's other than the 10, we have to write it, we have to specify it. So again, if you don't see it, it's 10. So I'm gonna maybe omit, I'm not gonna write the base now, because it's not that interesting at this point. Uh, so, but again, assume it's 10, if not, it's gonna be some other uh, value. <coughs> so we can turn this. So this is a, uh, uh, when you have log of a multiplication here, we can turn this into two logs. So this is the first rule of logs. Could be log A plus log B. Okay, that's our first rule for today of the logs. In addition to this one that changes from log to exponential form and back and forth. So whenever you have log of a multiplication here, you can split this into two logs. Or if you have two logs with addition here, you can go back and put them together with a multiplication. Um, another second uh, or second rule here is if you have a division here. So if you have log of a over b, we can also turn this into two logs, and these logs would be uh, log a minus log b with a multiplication. We turn that into a sum but with a division, we turn it into difference. So it's gonna be log A minus log, <coughs> log B. And you can also put these together into, back into uh, one log. Um, 
Let's do another rule. We're gonna do we're gonna do examples of each one. We're gonna do more examples of them. Um, another rule here is when you have uh, log, let's say. Let's say log of x to the power y. Notice again that all these logs, their base is invisible. That means it's 10, but it could be any uh, any other base. So in order to do this, the logs have to have the same base, which is 10 in this case. If you have three, for example, here and five, then you can't put these together into one. The other rule is when you have log and you have some x to a power y, you can take this power y and bring it to the front. So it turns into log. log times my y times log x. Again, very simple, just drop this power to the front of the log, it turns into y times the log of x. Um, <clears throat> in addition to this one, uh, there is this, uh, this one which you already saw. If you have, let's say the same number here, let's say the base here, and the same number here, the same number as, as the base. This is always equal to one value. We kind of did it earlier. What, is, what do you think this is equal to? So we have B here, the base is B, the value inside the log is B, and what is this value? B to a power is B. That power must be? Kind of like we did earlier with the 10. B to a power, the raised to a power is B. What is that power? When we say, said it earlier here. See here, 10 to a power X is 10. That power we said is one, okay? Because this one is the same as this. So something to a power is itself, that means that power is one. So based on that, what do you think this is equal to? B to a power, some power is B. What is that equal to? One. Uh, B, one. That's another important rule of logs. Whenever you see the same numbers here, you can immediately simplify that into one. It could be anything, it doesn't matter. Uh, 285, whatever. If you have the same thing here, this is always going to be one. You don't have to do any solving. You don't need a calculator. Again, because 285 to a power is 285. That means that power must be one because the number remains the same. Just, you just raised it to the first power. Um, <clears throat> let's say there might be another one. Uh, there's probably one more, but it's not, we're not gonna be using it a lot but we can write it anyway. Uh, <clears throat> the other um, um, power or the other um, formula goes like this. So say so you have, uh, let's say X, the power log, log Y. I believe that's, turns into just, uh, if, the, if the number is the same, let me see, there's a fifth rule, if you can remember it right, I believe if you have something like this, this equals X. I believe that's the, uh, another rule of, um, of exponents. <coughs> that's right, so if you have that case, or any number for that for that matter. So if you have, it doesn't have to be x here. Let's say, uh, let's make this one y. You see something in this form, and now it looks a lot of complex. So y to this power, the power has to happen to be a log. This is immediately equal to this. Okay, no need to prove anything. No need to solve for anything. As an example here, let's say. Uh, seven log log base three. What is that equal to? So seven to this power log log of three. 
or is this equal to using that same rule we just uh, we just saw that would be what three that would be three that's right so these can make things a lot easier a lot simpler when you see something um, when you see some uh, spawn slides, some logs like this, we can most of these can be simplified quickly. Okay, so now let's do some examples here. Let's say um, we have log. Of two, log two, maybe uh, <clears throat> eight times three, for example. So according to this rule. We can turn this, we can split this into two logs. What are the two logs here? This, if we use this rule to split it, it turns into what? So two logs, you just split right in the middle. So log eight and plus, okay? It's very important. If you have a multiplication, you use a plus, but if you have a division, you use this minus here. So log eight plus log three. These are rules, again, just use them. You don't have to prove them. Uh, most of them are self-explanatory. You can, you can try them yourself and see that they work. Others, uh, you mean, you don't have to prove them, but most of them are, uh, you can actually see them, you can understand them. For example, this one makes complete sense. B to the power one is B. Okay, so once we split it, see if we can simplify something. What is log base two of eight? What is log base two of eight, as we've been talking in the beginning? In other words, think about the exponent form, turn this into an exponent. So two to a power is three. Eight. This is three. Yeah. One two to a power is three. That It does exist, but it's a decimal. But we don't have to uh, turn it into a decimal. We can just leave it like this. Just like with the radicals, sometimes if you're lucky, you have radical uh, eight, or radical nine, which is uh, three. But other times you may see radical seven. That requires a calculator. It's a uh, two point something, it's a decimal. So it's better left like this. Something with the logs, not every log is uh, perfect or has a, a simplified answer. Okay, so that's uh, for this. <coughs> uh, same thing here, let's say you have some log. And maybe <clears throat> let's say some base, maybe base three, and some fraction, probably twenty seven, maybe one twenty five. Um, so we can turn this into two logs using this formula. So it's going to be log, log uh, 27 minus, okay, with the fraction, you got to use a minus, log 125. Once you do that, the reason we do this is to be able to make this simplify. Sometimes we need to put them together and go backwards. So again, the base doesn't change, it has to remain the same. And you have to write it down. If it's different than 10, you must be written down. If you don't write it, you Basically, you assume it's 10, but it's not 10 in this case. And okay, let's simplify. What is log base 3 of 27? We did that one earlier, too. Everybody? Log base 3 uh, of 27. In other words, again, I don't know why this still seems difficult, but it's not. Whenever you have a log of base of a number, you don't know the value. All you have to do is turn this into exponent. You say three to a power is 27. Three to a certain power that we don't know is 27. What is that power? Three to the power three. Right, very simple, it's three. Same thing here. Three to a power is 125. Can we think of that? <coughs> uh, Three to what power is uh, 125? Maybe, um, so that's maybe uh, 
does not have a sub three. So can you think of a power? Can you think of a number three to a power It's 125? It's not five. So if you can't find it, um, usually we do quite a calculator, but you don't have to turn it into a decimal. But if you're asked to find the value of this, you do what we talked about earlier, you do this. You take the log, you turn it into two logs, and you can plug these in the calculator to find the specific value, usually a decimal. Okay, so that's this rule. Uh, so let's see um, how to use this one also. This one is very useful too. Sometimes you could, could look at an expression that may look very complex, but we, in fact, you can do it uh, very quickly. And the proof is here. So Okay, we're back. Can you guys hear me? Yes, now we can. Yes, we can hear you now. Okay. Got disconnected. Uh, so now let's see how to use this rule. This one is very useful too. Let me share. Professor, something happened with the Zoom or it was just... I think with the... Yeah, we got disconnected. Let me share oh. this again. Okay, so, all right, so let's do more examples of these rules. So another rule is this one here. Let's see how useful this one is. Let's say you have, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, two to the power, um, actually maybe nine here, maybe some base two and so look at this complex expression, all right? This is not that complex. Once you know the rules, we can do this in literally seconds. You can do it in your head without a calculator. So this, let me first read this out. So it's log base two of number of a number nine to the power of 11. So there's a lot going on here. But actually if you look closely, if you use this rule, we can do this again in seconds. So if we have, according to this rule here, we can drop the Y down, we can move it to the front. So 11, could we move to the front and we say log base two of nine. Okay, and it's gonna be 11 times. What is log base two of nine? Everybody, what is log base two? Uh, of nine. Again, this is very simple. You should do this in a, in a second. Think about the exponents. Three. That's right. So this is three because two. Uh, is it three? No, not actually three. Might not be. Uh, might not be a uh, a whole number. But, uh, it's probably a decimal. So two to a power is nine. There's no uh, whole number that does that. Let's switch that to make it convenient. Let's make this make this three instead, so we don't run into uh, decimal. So make this three the base. Okay, so now we can find this out. So log base three of nine is three. No, log, log base three of nine is a number. What is that number? Uh, Again, the logs is this, and there's always some value here. So if you're looking for that value, all you have to do is to say this to this. Okay, three to, the three to the power two. That's right, three to the power two is nine. Yeah. Three to this power is nine, so this power must be two. So this is uh, two, and if you multiply these, you get 22. Okay, so that's again, some complex log that we can do easily using couple of rules using this rule here and also using the rule 
that switches back and forth between log and uh, between the log and uh, the exponent. Give me give another uh, example. Let's say you have log <coughs> uh, five. I don't know here. Let's do maybe uh, twelve. So again, this looks like some complex log. So log base five of twenty-five to the power twelve. You might be able to do this again. Some of you can do this in seconds. Can you give me the, the answer right away of this in one one step? And just think about think about this again. So what is it? Think about the five to the power of two. If you can basically uh, maybe you can give me just the final answer right away using these two steps. So you can think of it as 12 moves to the front, then log base 5, 25. I know it's 2, multiply 2 and 12, you get 24. So that's something that can be done uh, um, um, rather quickly. Um, so let's see, let's break it down. So again, move this down. So 12, log move this to the front of the log, then now we have log base 5 of 25 left. So the 12 times, again, we know what this is. What is log base 5 of 25? 2. Is 2. This is 24, okay? So with experience, as you do more with practice, you, you see how to figure out these logs. Uh, uh, pretty quickly. Um, Can we get one more example? <coughs> yeah, yeah. We're going to do some few more examples. We just uh, look for something different. <coughs> um, so, let's uh, practice the other one. And we're going to see how to put all of them together. Here's another example. Um, so earlier here, we saw this. Let me write a little bit there. So this one here, let me probably write it again here, log. So this is basically a log, uh, or y to the power log. The here, the base is y of x. So this, again, if you have the same number here, y and y, the y here is the base. y also here is the base of the log, not x, not y to the x. Let me explain it to write it bigger. So we have one uh, base, then we have some log here. That well, log has a base too, has a base, which happens to be the same log as this base, and it has some, some number inside here. So if you have y and y, if these numbers are the same here, then this will immediately be equal to x. Okay, so as an example of that, let's say you have seven, and then you have log, base seven of uh, three. What is this equal to here? You apply the same rule right away. This will be, be just the three. So if you have the same number here, this turns into three. And over here, if you have the same number, log the base and the number, that's equal to one. Okay, so again, you need to remember these rules. We uh, we need them, they're useful, and you don't have to prove them or solve or anything, you just use them as given right away. You can try yourself with different numbers, you'll see that this, these rules are uh, they work. If you want the explanation or the proof of why we say so, 
you can uh, you can uh, read them in the book. There's like details of each one and why we uh, why it's equal to to that. But you don't have to prove them again. Just use them. Um, okay. So let me give you another example here. So if you have let's say twenty one to the power log base twenty one of uh, let's say Uh, eight. What is this equal to again? In one in one sec. Using the same rule here. What is this equal to? Two. So two. Oh. No 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 no. Uh, two. Again, just apply this right away. No no math no calculation is needed. Just apply it directly. If you have the same number here, the base here and the base are the same, this will be what's left. Will be eight. It will be just the eight here. Again, if these are the same, think of it as those two cancel out. So this base, if it is the same as this, what's left is just this number here. That's what happened here. So the base of this log is the same as this number here. So the answer is what's inside the log. And no proof, no demonstration is needed again. Just look at it and I'll play it right away. Uh, let's see. Okay, you guys give me a couple of minutes. I'll be right back. All right, so now we're going to see how to uh, combine. So, so far we did an application or, or examples for each one of these rules individually. Now we're going to see actually how to combine all these together into one um, example. So you may see something like this. So. All right. As a single log. A typical question you'll see. You may have, um, uh, say, two log. Uh, let's say base uh, three of seven plus. Okay, so now we're going to see how to uh, use all these rules basically um, to write as a single log. So we're going to combine all these together into one log, one big log with everything in it. So that's the typical question you'll see in the homework or exam. We'll ask you to write as a single log. Basically, it's like going back from here to here. So if you look at this example, so we have two logs, we put them into just one log. Same here, we have two, we put them back into one, or you can go back and forth depending on the question and what you need from the log. So basically here, we're gonna see how to put these together into one log. So start with these two here. Since we have addition, which one, which rule from here do we use? Which one has addition? It's this one. So if you have two logs of the same base, you can put them together into one by multiplying the values inside A and B. This is addition between the two logs. We put them together with times A and B. So in this case, this could be one log here. So we can multiply seven and four because you have addition. But before that, we have these two here. We can put it back inside first before we combine these two logs. So with this rule here, the rule that we saw here earlier, this y, you can bring it down here, or 
we can also remove it back, put it back what it was. So we could, all these rows basically are, uh, you can go back and forth between them uh, as needed. So first we're gonna move the two here. So before we combine logs, make sure you don't have any coefficients, any numbers before the logs. So this would be log base three and seven stays here. The seven here, and this turns move back here as a power plus log. This one doesn't have doesn't have a number here, so it stays the same. This one also we can move the five over the six. Okay, we can move that five over six. We know that we have a log by themselves. They're all of the same base, that's important in order to do these two rules here. You have to have the same base. Okay, so let's do these two first. Again, we want to put these together into one log. The base stays the same. What do we do with the numbers here? What do we do with this number and this number? If we put them together according to rule number one, what happened to the a and b? We multiplied them here. So we, if it's a plus, we multiply these two, so we get a times b. Same thing here, so we're gonna times seven to the second, which is 49. Okay, seven to the second times four, minus the third log. Okay, so now we have two logs, same base. Okay, so we have some A, we have some B here, same base. So we have a subtraction. We have a subtraction. So what do we do with A and B if we put them together? You're gonna have to divide them. So we're gonna divide A by B. Okay, so we go back and divide A by B. And this will be, again, one log now. Base stays the same. And take this and divide it by this, A over B. So 49 times four over six to the power of five. And you can simplify this if you want. It will give you some, um, try to simplify it, okay? We'll give you something here. You may end up with a, a simple number or a complex log, but uh, it is possible to end up with just a number. For example, if you have uh, let's say, if you end up with nine here, for example, from here, if you end up with nine, then you'd say log base three of nine would be two. So that's an idea how to put, uh, use all these examples, or all these uh, formulas together. So the question may say, write as a single log, which what we did, so we had three logs, so we put them together into one log. Or he may ask you to do the opposite, maybe break the log down into multiple logs um, to go back to this one. So again, these rules can be used uh, back and forth depending on the question or as needed. <coughs> um, let's see if we can do another example here. So, So now um, how to work with some maybe specific numbers, specific logs, and see how to basically simplify them. So let's take this example here. Okay, so. Same question here. So I'll write as a single log and simplify. We're gonna see if we can turn this hopefully into some number, some you know specific value using nothing but these rules, no calculator or anything. So this is a little more complex. It has multiple logs, but uh, again, these are useful. Let's see how to work our way through this. Uh, this is basically log, let me re rewrite it. it, should be log like this, eight plus log 
this is supposed to be the base, so it should be down here, not in front of the lock. And 50 minus log. Again, this is supposed to be the base five here, not fair, 60. Okay, so don't worry about this one for now. So let's put these two together. So let's start with the first two. Which rule do we use to put these two together? You have a plus. So which rule from the list we use? Is it one, two, three, four, or five? First one. That's right, we have a plus. So we can use these together. So we're gonna put these together into one. What do we do with A and B? Multiply. Multiply. So let's do the same thing here. So these two will be log base five of what? What goes inside here? Eight. Mm -hmm. Um, what is 50? 50, so eight times 50, that's 400. Mm -hmm. That's the first, so eight times 50 is 400. Bring down the other log, 16. Now we have a minus, so what do we do with A and B? And divide. That's right, so we're gonna divide them using this rule. So we're gonna go back here. A divided by B as a fraction. So this will be log. Again, the base stays the same. So we have 400 over. So 400 A divided by B, which is 16. What is 400 divided by 16? Okay, it is a specific number, which is? 25. 25, very good. Now, do we know what this is equal to? Two. So? Exactly, so five to some power is 25. So that power must be two. And that's, uh, as you can see, we turned this complex log expression, we simplified it into a specific value, which is two. So this whole thing basically equals two. And we were able to do that just by applying uh, some rules here. Basically, we use these two to put them together. And we use this one to solve the last part uh, when we had log of, log of 25 base 5 is to use this rule. Okay, so uh, I believe that uh, should be it for today. Um, so that's your introduction for. Uh, logs. Uh, I don't know if, you, if you've seen them before or not, but this is basically how they work. The main thing to remember here is this. That's the main one. You can solve a lot of problems with this. And of course, these also. If you see a case like this, you can immediately solve, uh, apply them, depending on the expression really, to solve logs. Okay, everybody, did you guys have any questions about any of these examples or formulas? Everybody, I uh, don't hear from all of you. I don't have any questions. Okay. Everybody else, do we have the rest of the class with us? Do you guys have any questions? No questions for me, Baba. Okay, so if this is no question. probably new to you. Who uh, has seen logs before? Who has seen these logs in a previous class? Okay, so the uh, rest of you, is, this is all new to you, right? The logs, the first time you see the yeah. logs? Yeah, this is new for me, yeah. Okay, so sometimes this, this is taught in high school. Um, okay, so it's a new concept, it's a new, uh, uh, what do we call it? New notation. So I highly recommend that we, we watch the, the whole thing. It's not that complex. Again, we're just going back and forth between exponents. Don't let the new word throw you off. It just means going back from here to here. Um, and also remember to do your, uh, remember your formulas, remember how to use them. <coughs> the calculator has a log, but uh, we only use it when we can't find the log, when we can't see it. Uh, easily, that's when we use the calculator, but I don't think you're going to need it. You're just uh, basically going to be using 
these rules and uh, formulas. Let me take some attendance next before we dismiss.